Hi guys, well the day has finally come when we can reveal the performance results for Intel's next generation high-end desktop platform. Many of you will already be familiar with the details concerning both the CPUs themselves and what some of the X299 boards offer as they were unveiled at Computex earlier this month. And so Intel has basically uh, released two groups of processors for Socket 2066. We've got Skylake X and we've got Kaby Lake X. And the latter are restricted to quad core, whereas the Skylake X lineup goes all the way from six cores to 18 cores. At the moment, anything above the 10 core 7900X will be available towards the end of the year. And so we're here today to talk about KB Lake X, which is a bit of a strange move by Intel. As essentially what they're doing is they're bringing a very similar chip to the 7700K to a rather expensive platform. There are two CPUs in the KB Lake X lineup, the 7640X and the 7740X. The difference between the two CPUs are that the 7640X has a slower clock speed, less threads, and does not have hyper-threading enabled. But of course, it will arrive with a smaller price tag. Now, when we look at KB Lake X against Skylake X, it's evident that there are some severe limitations when you install a CPU onto an X299 board. Skylake X offers 44 and 28 PCI Express lane support, while KB Lake X only provides us with 16. So what that basically means is that if you want to use more than one graphics card and that the board has dual 16 mode, you will not be able to use it. Instead, you're going to have to opt for dual 8 or dual 4 mode. Another important thing is that while we do have quad channel DDR4 support on X299 boards, if we use KB Lake X, we can only make use of dual channel. And so the slots there on the left side of the CPU will basically become redundant. So yeah, a bit of an odd one really to bring in a mainstream CPU and to plonk it onto the high-end enthusiast platform. Now for this launch, it has been especially difficult to get samples from Intel. And that isn't just in regards to us. Many media through the UK, through Europe, haven't been able to get chips for review. But we've managed here to acquire this Intel Core i7-7740X, which is KB Lake X, and it's the model there with the hyper-threading. So the highlight of the lineup is obviously going to be the 7900X, which is the 10-core i9 chip. And while we'd have loved to have got that in, um, today's feature is still going to be pretty interesting, isn't it, really, to analyse this chip, because it's going to allow us to ascertain and allow people to really see whether it is worth moving to X299 with a quad-core CPU instead of sticking to the 7700K and Z270. So this is just a, a quick video for you today, guys. If you want more details on this chip, the full review is going to be on the screen and in the description very soon, so be sure to check that out. So here are the benchmarks for the 7740X.